Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the real value of x given the 2 times 15 raised to x plus 5 times 9 raised to x equals 3 times 5 raised to 2x. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. One way to answer this question is to realize that this 15 can be written as 3 times 5 or 5 times 3. Now, why we do that? Because take note that this 9 is just 3 squared. So, we have 5 times 3. We have 3 squared and we have here 5 raised to something else. Alright? Now, Let's use some loss of exponent. If we have AB raised to n, it is equivalent to A raised to n times B raised to n. Therefore, this expression 5 times 3 raised to x can be written as 5 raised to x times 3 raised to the power of x. How about this 3 squared raised to the power of x? Take note that if we have B raised to n raised to the power of m, it is equivalent to B raised to m raised to the power of n. Therefore, this 3 squared raised to x can be written as 3 raised to x quantity squared. Now, how about this expression 5 raised to 2x? How can we simplify this expression? Take note that if we have b raised to n times m, it is equivalent to b raised to n raised to the power of m. Therefore, this 5 raised to 2x can be written as 5 raised to x quantity squared. What we're going to do here is to divide all terms by 5 raised to x quantity squared. And now, this 5 raised to x quantity squared on the right hand side divided by 5 raised to x raised to squared is simply just 1. So this is just 3. Now let's focus on the first term. 5 raised to x times 3 raised to x over 5 raised to x quantity squared, we have a factor of 5 raised to x on the numerator, and we have also a factor of 5 raised to x on the denominator, so we can cancel one of them. So we have 2 times 3 raised to x over 5 raised to x. And now, this expression, this first term, can be written as 2 times the quantity 3 raised to x over 5 raised to x. Also, this second term can be written as 5 multiplied by 3 raised to x quantity squared over 5 raised to x quantity squared. And now, let's simplify this equation further. Take note that if we have a raised to n over b raised to n, it is equivalent to a over b raised to the power of n. Therefore, this 3 raised to x over 5 raised to x can be written as 3 over 5 raised to the power of x. Now, how about this expression 3 raised to x quantity squared over 5 raised to x quantity squared? This can be written as 3 raised to x over 5 raised to x quantity squared. Now, this 3 raised to x over 5 raised to x, again, can be written as 3 over 5 raised to the power of x. Now, we have the same expression 3 raised to 5 raised to the power of x. So we can replace this with another variable and let's call this as t. So let t equals 3 over 5 raised to the power of x. Therefore, this expression 3 over 5 raised to the x can be replaced with the variable t. Also, this expression right here can be written as t squared. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of t. So what we're going to do here is to solve for the value of t. First thing to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit and let's equate this to 0. So we have 5t squared plus 2t minus 3 equals to 0. Now, if we try to factor this quadratic equation, we will end up with 5t minus 3 multiplied by t plus 1. Now take note that if we multiply these two factors, we will end up with the same expression 5t squared plus 2t minus 3. But since we want to solve for the value of t, let's go back to its factored form. 
Now, since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So, 5t minus 3 equal to 0 or t plus 1 equals 0. Now, on the first equation, let's solve for the value of t. Let's add 3 on both sides and let's divide both sides by 5. This will give us the value of t as 3 over 5. Now, on the second equation, if we subtract 1 on both sides, this will give us the value of t as negative 1. Now, take note that this t is an exponential function. Therefore, the value of t cannot be less than 0 or t must be greater than 0. Therefore, we need to reject the value of t as negative 1 because we know that t must be greater than 0. So, at this point, we can say that t must be equal to 3 over 5. Now, since t must be also equal to 3 over 5 raised to x, we can equate them. So, we have 3 over 5 raised to x equals 3 over 5. Now, on the right side, this can be written as 3 over 5 raised to the power of 1. Now, we have two expressions that is equal and we have the same base. Therefore, their exponent must be equal. So, we can say that x must be 1. Therefore, our answer to this question, what is the value of x given this equation? And our answer is just 1. And as always, we are done.